Welcome to the Agile and Scalar Network Analysis Tool Virtual Demonstration. When the signal source, coupler, and power splitter are used with power sensors, it is capable of making scalar network analysis. Scalar network analysis allows you to perform stimulus response measurements such as gain, insertion loss, frequency response, and return loss. Scalar network analysis can be performed using Agilent USB power sensor, EPM, EPMP, and P-series power meter and sensor. The key features of the USB sensor SNA are wide power range, frequency range of up to 26.5 GHz for USB sensor, absolute measurement accuracy of 3%, and dual functionality which allows accurate and scalar power measurement. The USB sensor SNA is beneficial since it is low cost and portable. It also has higher accuracy and flexibility of using the sensor to perform other measurements. The USB sensor SNA allows seven measurements configuration depending on the number of available sensor. With one sensor, you can perform gain and unlabel gain measurement. With two sensors, you can perform adjusted gain and return loss measurement. With three sensors, you can perform gain and return loss measurement. With the use of P-series power meters and sensors, you can improve the measurement speed for adjusted gain and return loss measurement. In this section, you will learn how easy it is to make gain and return loss measurement. First, connect the instruments as shown and launch the SNA tool. We are using the E4438C signal generator and the U2000 series USB power sensor in this demonstration. Follow the procedures on the SNA measurement left panel to complete the gain and return loss measurement. Select Gain and Return Loss Measurement. Then, refresh the instrument I.O. to see the list of signal generator and power sensor connected to your PC. Select the signal generator to be used. Select the power sensor for transmitted B. Select the power sensor for reflected A. Select the power sensor for incident R. Click Next to proceed to Source and Sensor Configuration. Configure the Source and Sensor parameter accordingly. We are testing the low pass filter from 2 to 3.5 GHz since its cutoff frequency is 2.8 GHz. Once done, click Next to perform SNA calibration. Before you perform SNA calibration, it is recommended that you perform zeroing and calibration for the power meter and sensors. Click Zeroing button to start power meter and sensor zeroing. Once done, the completed status will be shown. For gain and return loss measurement, you will need to perform open, short, and through calibration. Click Open, then connect the calibration kit accordingly. Click the button in Step 2 to start calibration. Once done, continue with short calibration. Click short, then connect the calibration kit according to the diagram. Click the button in step 2 after you have connected the calibration kit. Once done, proceed with through calibration. Click through, then connect the instruments as shown. Click the button in step 2 to complete the SNA calibration. Then, click next to continue. Connect your DUT as shown. Click the button to start the SNA measurement. The gain and return loss measurement graph will be shown. You can toggle the stop and play button to stop and restart the measurement. This software also allows you to add marker 
and trace up to 20 previous traces. With a few simple steps, you have successfully configured and performed SNA measurements. Please refer to the Power Measurements Hints and Tips web page to download a copy of the SNA software and related application notes. For any inquiries, kindly contact your nearest Agile and support representative. Thank you.